So if you have read and understood, considering it probable, and uh, uh, give uh, give the patient nutritional support and uh, go for different treatment like a surgical removal. Okay. Um. Surg surgical removal for what? It is cancer for. Okay. But that's in the later stage because you have to stage first. First, you have to stabilize mm -hmm. the patient. Where would you manage this patient? Uh, patient need a uh, uh, high dependency unit care. Yes. yes. I, uh, HDU. Okay. Uh, inserted uh, central venous line and uh, urine catheter and start uh, fluid resuscitation and put uh, calcium and uh, ECG monitoring during the resuscitation. So patient... This patient would have what type of uh, anemia? Yeah, it's just like anemia of chronic disease. Uh, like uh, because like chronic uh, blood loss. Okay. No need for transfusion. All right. Uh, what else? Like if you'll do uh, imaging, what type of imaging would you go for before you'll do the CT scan? And what do you expect to see? Yeah, I will go for first for uh, uh, ultrasound or okay, abdomen or abdominal X-ray. Abdominal yes. X-ray. What do you it expect to see? Yeah, like a thumb, thumb printing sign. Okay. Colitis. Yeah. Uh, colitis of the bowel. Mucosal thickening, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, how would you correct the electrolytes of this patient? Yeah, I will give the patient uh, calcium gluconate and uh, monitoring ECG and Ten percent, ten million, ten minute, and also, uh, give the patient uh, crystalloid, IV fluid bolus,es and um, give a patient uh, like septic. Uh, uh, I will take a blood culture and start uh, broad spectrum antibiotic according to the hospital trust, and uh, uh, also patient have um. Mm, I, uh, okay, can you I tell me how would you uh, monitor this patient? Patient response, how would you keep an eye on it? How would you follow it up? Yeah, I'll check vitally for the capillary field sizes. And... Okay. And lab, you look for the CRP, uh, yeah. which is high, look. and TLC maybe, which is also yeah. high. Okay. Also, like, and can when I, uh, would you decide that patient needs urgent surgery or surgical intervention? If there is sign of uh, sinus obstruction. Yes. Or, okay. or uh, dissection obstruction or uh, 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 sepsis. Yes. Uh, or, um, what kind of surgical management can you offer this patient? Um. Uh, Patient like urgent, like go for subtotal colectomy with yes. the, uh, uh, yeah, okay. and tell me one thing is since the patient is already anemic, why would you not choose to go for blood transfusion? A hemoglobin level less than seven, so okay. patient have 8.7, no indication, yes, for transfusion. Why do you think patient has uh, low potassium levels, low electrolytes? Because patient on diarrhea, yes. with, uh, like 12 episodes of diarrhea, loss yes. of electrolyte. Also, if there is a third spacing, lead to electrolyte disturbance. In which conditions uh, patient has high platelets, like uh, this one? As acute phase reactant. Okay, and very good. Uh, and in uh, case of dehydration, acute yeah, dehydration lead to yeah, uh, thrombocytosis. Yes, good. 
why do you think you would find a thumbprinting sign on the and like or any type of colitis like a oedema of the wall yes uh, um, due to this like um, inflammation so that's radiographic sign of large bowel thickening and large bowel wall thickening because of edema and yeah. also due to uh, infective uh, or inflammatory process of the like colitis or abdomen good okay so can you help me and read this these images please mm, okay the left, left side one and then right yes but the left see? side it is like uh, uh, erect uh, abdominal x-ray we found like